I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Philip Bellamont. He is the CEO and founder of Zilch Technology. Philip, great to have you on the show. Nice to see you, Judy. Quick note to our viewers, this interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSC doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. All right, Philip, tell me, what is Zilch Technology? So at Zilch, we effectively are democratizing access to free credit. And what that means is we want our customers to be able to go anywhere they like and purchase anything from anywhere without being financially penalized for the privilege. So effectively, what does that mean in real life? Our customer could walk into any store, right? So they could walk into Selfridges from the UK, they could walk into Macy's over here, uh, they could go to Amazon online, they could do any of this and pay over time for free. No interest of any kind and no fees of any kind. And that's really what we're bringing to our customers is the ability to do this anywhere they like. Okay, now how are you different from the competition? Well, it's a great question. So, so if we step back quickly and look at what the competition's been doing, mm -hmm. really what you find is they're building these network effects, right? So companies like Affirm or Klarna or Afterpay, great businesses, have built this, and some of them already 10 or 15 years ago. So what we have as Zilch is that we've got the benefit of coming to the market a bit later. And so because we're young, we can use the latest technology and the latest regulation to build something truly differentiated and unique. And what I mean by that is similar to what you've seen, for instance, Zoom due to Skype. Skype was a network. You and I both needed Skype in order to talk to one another. And Zoom completely bypassed that by going direct to the customer. So how Zilch is different is the same. We go direct to the customer and let them pay over time anywhere, mm -hmm. outside of any network effect that may have existed previously. Okay, now there are some larger institutions that are entering the space. What are your thoughts about that? You know, for us, we actually think this is quite interesting because we think where some people are being a bit naive, perhaps, with this is they think this may be a feature and not a product. Um, and I'll give you a good example of this. You see this in a lot of other apps, for instance, right? So if you think about um, Robinhood as an app, people love that because it's a product. If you offer equities trading in another app, actually not many people necessarily use it. And this is a great example of feature versus product. So while you're having a lot of other institutions saying they're coming to the market, that can only be a good thing if they get it right to the end consumer. But what we take a lot of comfort in is that these institutions are the very reasons our customers come to us in the first place. They've long since lost the trust of this customer base. And this customer is the most informed customer the world has ever seen. And they actually want the transparency of a product like ours. I'm not sure it's going to be so easy for those large institutions to go backwards and try and reconvince those customers to come on board again. Okay, so what do you think the future of buy now, buy now pay later is? So in our view, similar to what we're starting to see all around us, right? Mm -hmm. This whole idea of going from physical to virtual um, in the future. And we think payment is the same, needs to be invisible in the future. So as an example, with our product, we're one of the only products in the world today, you could link our product to Amazon. You could go to Amazon, go and walk out with a, a, a cashierless experience, walk straight out the store and pay over time using Zilch on Amazon without doing anything. And so what we really think about BNPL in the future is, how do you fund your transactions? Is it just with fiat or is it with crypto and loyalty and other things? And how invisible and seamless is that for the customer? And we feel like if we get that right, we're gonna be miles ahead of everyone else. Okay, all right, Philip, so great to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Thanks, Judy, nice to see you.